Hey folks, and welcome back! So I believe it's time to do... Ow. Yeah, okay. Right, right, right. I ended off... Okay, guys. Let's head down there and win those talons from Jean Bissot. Sly, try to keep a low profile when we get close. We don't want him to recognize you. Excuse me, sir. We humble lumberjacks would like to participate in your lumberjack games. Think you got what it takes to win the clockwork talons, eh? Well, I'm sure enough gonna let you play, so long as you pay the entry fee. Much obliged, partner. We'll, uh, just take our positions for the competition. Enjoy the moment while you think you still got a chance. It's as close to winning as you'll ever get. This year's first event will be a power chopping contest. Not like anyone's ever gonna beat my record, but let them try. Not bad, Hippo, but watch and learn as I destroy that log without even breaking a sweat. Yay! I Okay, Bentley, you're on. Plant the eagle egg on Basan, and the angry eagle parent should swoop in and throw off his axe timing. Okay, where? How? Oh no! What? I think you better rethink them scores, boys. What you intended to give me was perfect tens, right? So your pink friend knows how to handle an axe. Let's see how you handle a vertical wall of ice. No. Pretty good for a scrawny raccoon. Now, okay. Watch and learn as I demonstrate the art of power climbing. Use those grapples to hook out to be sawed. You will need to hook him with all three lines to pull him off the wall. Okay. Would help if <sighs> I am king of the mountain. Uh, what? No.
There we go. It seems you have pulled the wrong cards again. Did I ever tell any of you the story about the judge from last year's competition who mistakenly gave me a score other than 10? Wimps. I see we're tied with only one event to go. Unfortunately for you, I've saved my best event for the last. The spinning log competition. Okay, looks easy enough. I just need to stay out of the water. Oh. A log rolling turtle. Who ever heard of such a thing? Fuck. Enjoy your dip in them icy Canadian waters. There we go. Unlucky turtle. I'll give you that. But now, watch how a skilled log roller does it. This is crazy. John Besson's got those judges so intimidated, there's no way he can lose. You're right, Murray. Those guys need to go. Okay, I'm just making this up on the fly, but what if I were to lure the judges one by one into that cave? Once inside, you two will knock them out and take their clothes. Ingenious! When all three judges have been restrained, we'll be able to don our disguises and take their place at the judges' table. Sly, you can use the alarm clock gadget to distract the judges and lure them into the cave. That's a great plan, Sly, but you'll have to move fast. Once John Besson finishes the log rolling event, the gig is up. Okay, first off, let's get the... Okay. Um... Oh, crap. One. Oh crap, why am I facing the wrong way? That's two. Yeah, because he'll totally fall for that. Her incorrect scores. Incorrect. You aren't the judges I hired. It's the scrawny raccoon and his annoying friends. Well, if you want the yeah. Team, why don't you just take them? 
Okay, for okay, I was gonna say Bentley did not get hit. Okay, seriously, he did not get hit. Yeah, I'm awake, but not so loud. I have a splitting headache. Ha ha ha. What's going on? This looks like the sawmill control room. Bison must have thrown us in here for interrogation later. I, for one, would like to escape before he returns. It looks like we're pretty well sealed in here. Unless... Unless what? Unless you can fit through that hole. I... I think I could squeeze through there. I'll drop down and try to free you guys from the outside. If there's any trouble... Oh, jeez. I, I think I know what it's going to happen. You might be able to help me with these sawmill controls. While you guys do that, I'll try prying open that steel door. Given enough time, I might be able to make some progress. Sounds like a plan. Good luck, Bentley. And remember to shout if I can help you from up here. I believe this is the actual boss fight. Bentley, you okay? I can't see you from in here, but I heard the fall. I'll be fine. Just give me a moment to catch my breath. Well now, Candy Bridges, I should have figured a puny turtle like you'd find a rat hole to squirm through. Well, I just dropped my glasses, had to come pick them up. I ain't like you, boy. I ain't stupid. When y'all were unconscious, me and my boys paid a visit to your hideout and found all them clockwork parts. Lucky thing, too. Arpeggio is willing to plunk down a king's ransom for the whole lot. I even threw in the talents. You sold all the clockwork parts? Arpeggio has them all? I wouldn't expect one of your kind to understand the finer points of commerce. You turtles are too stupid to know a woodcutter from a woodchuck. That's it. Time I showed you just how stupid we turtles really are. Sly, on my command. I hear you. Prepare yourself, Bissad. On guard. Okay, Walnut. Get ready for a smushing. Call out which lever I should pull. Okay, what's this one? Okay. Okay, he was clearly on there. I should just redo that. Puny little turtle. Cause you know, I I know he was on there the first time. Call out which lever I should pull. There we go. Fuck. Cook him. All right. Come on in here, boys. Let's get this varmint. Wait, no. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh crap. What? Sizzle is gizzle. How's that? Wait. Done. Wait. All right. Sizzle is gizzle. Yep. Cook him. Uh -huh. Eat dynamite, turtle. On 
team up. How's that? Really? Any one person turtle soup? Call out which lever I should pull. Flame up. Done. There we go, back to this phase again. There we go. Tarnation. I've been done in by some four eyed turtle. Times have changed. Once again, brains triumph over broad. God, little buddy. That was some fast thinking. Don't forget about me. You did a great job opening that door, Murray. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> Okay, enough patting ourselves on the back. If we're going to get the clockwork parts back, we need to get onto that blimp. The silo battery isn't far. If we run, we can make it. Enough talk, let's move. I don't believe there was anything worthwhile looking at in that place, but I don't know. Shake a leg, that blimp's on its way. Oh, right. Wrong button. There we go. You know, he would have been just fine with the trampoline, but whatever. Anyways, that chapter's done. As we shut ourselves into the Northern Light Battery, it became black. For a few long minutes, we just sat there in darkness. No one dared to talk for fear that John Bassan's men might discover where we were hiding. Time seemed to have stopped. And then, we felt it. We were being lifted up to Arpeggio's blimp. It was all so strange. The focus of all our schemes had been stolen from us. 
our clockwork parts were gone. Looking around the inside of the battery, I knew we all felt it. Failure. I was twitchy and ready for action. Any action. Bentley tried to make some sense of the situation by drawing up meaningless plans. But Murray? Murray took it the worst. He just sat there sobbing while the team van floated away over the horizon. That van was his life. I knew I'd have to find a way to make it up to him. Okay, I just want to make sure... 100%. Okay, good. Okay. There we were, heading east across the Atlantic Ocean, stowaways on a giant airborne fortress. Though time was short, we made sure to study up on our unknowing host, Arpeggio. While attending a prestigious boarding school, the young Arpeggio excelled in all subjects, but he never managed to keep up with the other boys physically. Sadly, his wings, due to their small size, were useless for flight. Furious at his feeble body, he focused his powerful mind to search for a cure in the works of the Italian Renaissance masters. Their notebooks provided the springboard for this sinister young genius. And it wasn't long before the Claw Gang took him on as chief inventor. His talents must have been at work repurposing all the clockwork parts for their criminal schemes. And now this mastermind is in possession of all the parts. It's only a matter of time before he puts them back together. And when that happens, well, I'm not going to let that happen. Just like before, getting the clue bottles first off. Okay. Yeah, okay. I knew this chapter had clue bottles. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, I'm not surprised one of these had it.
Oh, right, 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 yeah. Nope, that's not it. Booby trapped. My, ooh. Well, you don't have one, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. You first. There we go. Now I know there's one up here. I would be great if I pushed the right button. There we go. I'm pushing. I pushed the freaking. Whatever. What? I pushed the button! You know, fuck you. I pushed the circle button. I know I did. Which means you... Do the... The... You do the move. I was above it, and the thing was blue. So you do the thing. <sighs> Fuck you. Okay, let's see. Um... Okay. 
6,000. So I need another 5,000 altogether to get all three of those. And you have goodies on you, so I'm going to take that. The first initial thing I'm going to say about Sly 3 is that, wow, okay, um, you don't have to worry about selling shit, which was a vast improvement over this game. The only thing, only bad thing I'm going to say about Sly 3 is... Getting 100% is like even worse than trying 100% uh, the first one without you losing your, your well mind. Because I have yet to get 100% in the number three from the PS2 release. Actually, never did. From what I remember. And I never bothered with uh, doing that with the fourth game. I didn't know if there was anything worth doing that, apart from, you know, the achievements. Um, but I might do that with the fourth game. Yes, I do have the fourth game. If I remember correctly, I have both releases for it? the Vita and the PS4 versions. So. Oh, I see that. Okay, so I need to go over here. Please tell me I can... Yes, thank you. I still don't see the point in these little air vent things, but whatever. I mean, you can clearly see into them. Okay, that's a Murray thing. Okay. I know one of them's like what? Right on top of here. Oh crap.
What the fuck? You know, it's been a while since I've actually seen lasers in their little overworld. I know one of these things had it. Okay, it was that one. Nope. Oh, maybe I just... Get up on there! Get up there! I can't get up there that way. Okay, that that's that's something I can pro do. Why? How? No, seriously, how? There's one right there.
No. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, I see it. Okay. Oh, to just get up there. Which can be done by going to that side. <sighs> really? I'll get this one bottle and then that'll be it for today. I did hear one. How did I get up there? Oh, right, duh. The balloon.
Oh, I see it. Jeez. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go... Oh. I'm gonna head back to the safe house. wherever that is again. I think I'm lost. Okay, there's the safe house. Sell off what I can and see if I have enough for even just one. <sighs> just shy of one.
How do I get up there? Wait. Duh. Which probably answers the... Yeah, I don't think it does, actually. Okay. I'll get the other two... next time. But up dim No. Okay. I'll go ahead and that. Let's go ahead and save and that will be it for today. So, thank you for joining me today. Next time, the last two clue bottles. And then I will actually start this uh, episode off correctly. So, till next time, folks. Goodbye.